G'day everybody, it's Matt here and today I want to talk to you about first and third party reviews, why they're essential to your e-commerce business and why you should be using a plugin for WooCommerce that can actually help you to get both. So what is a first party review? Well typically this is one that is collected and shown on your website. So in WooCommerce on your product pages, by default, there is a reviews box below the product. And in that box, customers can leave a review for you. Now, these reviews are basically user-generated content, which is brilliant for your SEO, and also for providing activity on your website that demonstrates recency to search engines. So you're getting content and uh, recent activity, which is excellent for your SEO. These reviews are also late in the funnel uh, because they're on the product page. So if someone is there, they're already looking at your website, they're already potentially buying. So the reviews are right there for them to see. First party reviews also provide extra credibility. Uh, when those customers are at that point, they're, they're almost ready to buy. So it just gives them that little bit more trust that someone's bought this before, there were no problems. Uh, or if there were problems, whether those things are likely to be an issue for them. And research shows that 62% of 18 to 34 year olds trust a brand that has high ratings and reviews on their website. So that's really, really important. So what about third party reviews then? Well, these are the reviews that are collected and presented on an external website, a third party site such as a directory listing site or a social media profile. I'm sure by now most of us have seen the reviews that appear in Google uh, via our business listings, reviews on Facebook, Yelp, they're all big examples of these third party customer review channels. 80% of customers trust businesses that have reviews of four stars or higher. And 80% of Americans have also said that they trust at least some reviews as much as recommendations from friends and family. So that is pretty huge. Now, these third party review websites have a way of helping to build that trust. You see, these sites give context both to your website and to your customers. They're higher in the funnel where customers are doing their research. They might be looking for products. Uh, they might have come across your product somewhere else and want to see what people think about it. They might even just be doing some extra research after seeing your product on your own website. Whatever the case is, they provide that additional context from an external source. It's almost like saying, hey, mum, dad, what do you think about this? Joe, best friend, what about that? What do you like? Would you recommend this? It's kind of like that, but without actually asking someone. It's basically saying, hey Google, is this product good? And Google finds those reviews for them. So these sites can contribute to your SEO as they often link back to your product and they can typically rank quite well. But besides that potential SEO benefit, having a presence on these third party sites means there's more opportunity for you to be found. You see, Customers can be searching for other products. Find them on these review sites and then be recommended your product. So that's a great way for customers to find you. It also builds legitimacy. If your brand only exists on your website, no one's talking about you. No one's said anything about you. No one can find anything about you. It raises red flags. Being able to be found on these review websites helps to build trust in your brand. So should you be trying to collect both first and third party reviews on your website? Absolutely. You want to get both. Having both first and third party reviews helps the customer to find your product and you. It helps them to make the right decision about whether to buy from you and to buy your products. And it gives them trust all of which contribute to them actually purchasing. Now, many of the reviews plugins for WooCommerce will only collect first-party reviews. The built-in review functionality is also first-party reviews. 
But there is a plugin called Custrev, short for Customer Reviews for WooCommerce, and I'll stick a link to that down in the description. Custrev allows you to collect both first and third party reviews simultaneously and display them in both a first and third party way. If you don't have the Custrev plugin already, head to this video and that'll take you through how I configure it with my recommended settings. Once Custrev is installed, you'll find that it facilitates generating verified third party reviews that are available and searchable on the Custrev website. And these reviews are then automatically synchronized with your WooCommerce store where they get displayed below the products as first party reviews. And you can also display them elsewhere around your website. Unlike first party reviews that are gathered directly on your website, these reviews that come through the Custrev plugin also show independently verified trust badges. Now these trust badges link back to the Custrev website. So potential buyers can actually check that these reviews are legitimate. This creates an extra layer of transparency in your business and trust in your customers. The Custrev plugin also provides a feed that you can bring across to your Google Merchant Center to display your star ratings and reviews alongside your Google Shopping listings. So this makes your customer reviews more accessible in those third party searches. They'll start to show up in the Google searches for your products. They'll start to show up in Google Shopping and you'll be able to display them alongside your shopping ads. So that again helps to leverage these reviews to build trust and bring customers in. So if you aren't already collecting first party or third party reviews or both, make sure you head over and install the customer reviews for WooCommerce plugin. Uh, head to this video for my recommended settings and follow through the series that I've done. There's five videos in total on how to install and configure customer reviews for WooCommerce, including how to set up and display trust badges, how to display the reviews elsewhere around your website using short codes and Gutenberg blocks, how to sync your products with Google Merchant Center so that you can use them in Google Shopping ads, and how to enable referral tracking from the customer website to your store. So I hope you found this video helpful. Be sure to like it and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this from me. That's it for now. Have an awesome day.